Well, welcome to this edition of Gone Again. I've got something really important to share with you guys. I was hoping it was going to be great news, and I even anticipated it as being such, but it's not. And I need you to listen because this applies to just about everybody out there, and it has to do with filming in national parks. This whole thing about taking videos in national parks, you may not, your eyes may be glazing over already, but I got to tell you, it applies to you and your family. It's not just a commercial thing, uh, as you would think. I just got some information here uh, just a couple of weeks ago that I was really, really excited about because it sure looked like we were going to be able to go back to filming in national parks again and not have to worry about fines or expensive permits. You see, you can film in national parks. It just requires a permit. Minimum cost, $300. So... <laughs> It's not going to work for little YouTube channels like ours that this video will probably make 50 bucks if I'm lucky. You see what I mean? So that's just out of the question. But I got some information from a chief ranger a couple of weeks ago that made it seem like that, like that didn't apply to us. And if you look at the law, the law is pretty uh, confusing would be the only way I could describe it. Let me, let me read it to you here just briefly so, so we, you see where we're starting from. It says, federal law requires a permit for all commercial filming. Uh, no matter the size of the crew or the type of equipment, this includes individuals or small groups that don't use much equipment, but generate revenue by posting footage on websites such as YouTube and TikTok. You can include Instagram, Facebook in that. Um, basically, they're, what they're saying is, if you put up a video and it makes money, um, that you need a permit. It didn't say who it makes money for. Like you might think, well, I'm we're, our family's going on vacation, or my daughter's going on vacation, and they take a video inside of um, Zion National Park and they put it up on their Facebook page to show the family. Facebook sticks an ad on it, and guess what? You're in violation right there. You didn't make any money. Your daughter didn't make any money. Facebook did, and you're the one liable. So this law applies to everybody if, you do, if you're going to put up a video on any kind of uh, media. This is the confusing part because after they tell you that you need to have a permit, it goes on and says the primary focus of the National Park Service, however, is on commercial filming that has the potential to impact park resources and visitors beyond what occurs from normal visitor use of the park areas. Um, examples of this type of filming are productions that use substantial equipment such as sets and lighting, productions with crews that exceed five people, and filming in closed areas, wilderness areas, or in locations that would create conflicts with other visitors or harm sensitive resources. So then it makes it look like, well, I'm not going to do any of that, so I'm okay. Well, then you got to go back to the first sentence. No, you're not. It says you need a permit. And the confusing thing was that Linda and I shot a video recently and we went in and spoke with the chief ranger, the top man. And he says, you don't need a permit. He says, we're only concerned with large film crews, five or more that are gonna dis disrupt the public. What you're doing isn't going to disrupt the public at all. You're just going in with your little camera and your cell phone or whatever. And as long as you don't, as long as you only go where the public goes, you, you're not going to be disrupting anybody. I, so I says, so you're saying that even though my channel is monetized, I don't need a permit? He says, no, you don't need a permit. I thought we were okay. Well... Not exactly. I was really excited about that though. And I wanted to share it with all you guys and say, hey, we can film in national parks again and you don't need a permit. I was really excited. I even told people I'm coming out with great news in this next video. So I get home and I thought, I'm gonna do some more research. So I put in a phone call to several other uh, chief rangers in different parts of the country and I, and I had to leave a message with all of them, and none of them have called me back. And I started checking with other YouTubers. And then I got news that another YouTuber 
had put up a video in a national park and they had gotten verbal permission like we did. Well, somebody reported them to the National Park Service and the National Park Service contacted the YouTuber and said, what's your permit number? They didn't have a permit number because they were told they didn't need a permit. They were fined a thousand dollars. What I've determined is that the chief rangers, now there are seven different uh, national park areas in the United States from East Coast to West Coast, Alaska and Hawaii. Uh, and each one has a chief ranger. Those chief rangers aren't really clear on the law either. If you ask them, some of them are gonna tell you you don't need a permit. Some of them are gonna tell you you do need a permit. But the ones that tell you you don't need a permit and then somebody reports you to the National Park Service and they come after you and say, what was your permit number? You don't have one. So the point is, no, it's not okay for us to shoot in national parks without a permit. National parks, national monuments, uh, national cemeteries, national battlegrounds, national wildlife areas, national recreation areas. We still can't do it. I had such, I thought I had such great news, but I don't. And now we're back to never going into national parks, just like all the other YouTubers out there. With all the YouTubers that want to um, show national parks and show you how beautiful they are and encourage you to go there, none of us can do that. It's too bad because there are probably, the National Park Service is probably lacking about a million views a week, <laughs> potential that they could have to encourage people to go to these national park areas, but they're not getting that because all of us know that it's not, we're not able to do that because we can't afford the permits. Why does the National Park Service do this? Well, they want to collect their fees. The fees are really high, you know? If it was like 25 bucks or something and you could go up to the front counter and, and, and just get your permit, that would be great. But the fact is you have to apply in advance. You have to tell them exactly what date, what time, what area. And you know, when you're on a road trip, you don't know where you're going exactly and you're just enjoying life and enjoying the United States. That's not gonna happen. You know, we've got the right to pursue happiness in this country, and that shouldn't stop us from being able to video on public land. It's also a free speech issue, but I'm afraid that as things stand right now, um, we just can't do it. I don't know what to say about this, except we got really excited when we thought that this was behind us. And now, once again, Linda and I know that we just can't video in national park areas of any kind. The liability is just too great. We're just not gonna take a chance. Even though the local ranger says it's okay, it's just not. That chief ranger we talked to said that this applied nationwide and that YouTubers didn't have to worry about it. He did say that he suggested that whatever park we go to or whatever national uh, park service area we go to that we inquire locally in case there was a certain area where they would that was sensitive or something but he said that otherwise other than that we didn't have to worry about it if only that were true verbal permission isn't good enough you have to have the written permit number <laughs> otherwise you're going to be liable so there's that well, I'm sorry this video is so long. I hope you stayed with me on it because it doesn't apply to just me as a commercial YouTuber. It applies to everyone. Uh, don't take the chance. Don't post any videos that you shoot in National Park Service areas and put them up on any social media at all. Don't take that chance. Just my suggestion to you. See you around.